Derek, uh, it's great to catch up with you. Thank you. What's your uh, reaction when you step on the floor with a new team for the first time? I mean, you played so long in, so in Chicago and yeah. playing with new players, new environment. What was that first feeling like when you stepped on the floor with these guys? You know, it felt good, but at the same time, you, you're trying to get used to one another. Um, you work out with guys individually. You have your individual workouts, and um, you try to bring that ke um, team chemistry together a little bit more when you have, whenever you step on the floor, and I think that's what we've been doing these last couple of days. Is there a process where you're actually not on the floor, but you're on the sidelines and you can evaluate the guys from that point of view and see what their skill sets are, how they work on the floor, and their chemistry, personality, all those types of things that you can evaluate from the sidelines? Oh, yeah, of course, a little bit, but um, being on the court is a lot better. I would say that. But um, like right now, everybody's working out. We're doing something that's going to help our help the game. It's going to help our team win. So that's what we need, just the extra work, because you never know when you're going to use it. and um, it, it should pay off someday. Now, when you step on the court with a guy of seven foot three, yeah. growing still like Porzingis, what's yeah. that like for a point guard? Um, it's fun. That's my first time for one playing with a guy that tall, and I'm happy he's on my team. So <laughs> having two seven footers back there just hooping and just playing—that's that's all we need. And um, it's other guys too that we um, that's big on this team. Oh, you got Lance, you got Ko, you got. Um, Mo, I mean, it's a lot more other guys that's kind of tall. And, and in the NBA, you need length if you want to go far. And what about Melo? I know you guys have known each other over the years, played against each other in these wars, but now you're on the, the same team. And, and what's that like for you to finally team up with him? Oh, it's, it's all love, man. He's making my job a lot easier. Um, the last couple of plays of the scrimmage, we were running pick and roll, one, three pick and roll with me and him. And every time he got the shot, so... Um, my job is just to make his job easy and try to make everybody else on the team a lot better. In terms of the system, I know it's early on in this process and there's a lot of talk about the triangle, but you guys are playing a bunch of different sets, isos, triangle, where you try to get up and yeah. down the floor. But how do you see this team and the way they, they're going to operate and what you want to do on the floor as the point guard? Um, all I've been hearing now is that, that they want me to push the ball and they want me to play the way that I normally know how to play. Then if the ball is out of bounds or if it's a um, situation where uh, we need, um, we walk on the ball down like a playoff type of situation. We need to slow the game down. That's when we're used to triangle offense. But um, we've been running the triangle a little bit in practice. Everybody's trying to get used to it. Um, it's a little bit of adjustment that we have to do to get used to it because the terminology and just the offense itself is kind of difficult. It's complex. So um, we just got to get used to it, got to get familiar with it before we start running a lot in the game. At this point in your career, is there a maturity level, an experience level that you feel that maybe things can change or the speed of the game changes and you can see different ways to be successful? Does that happen at this point in your career and where you're at now? Of course, of course. The game slows down a lot for me. Uh, with me missing three years um, because of injuries and coming back, it's all about rhythm for me, you know. Um, your whole life you've been so used to a one-two type rhythm and just playing a certain way, and you go three years without playing um, in a lot of games or the amount of games that you're used to playing in, and it's all about catching up, putting in that work so that you're back in the groove. From a chemistry standpoint, we see you guys really getting along. Everybody seems to have that chemistry right off the bat. Yeah. Do you feel that, and what has that experience been like for you? I think it's it's all because of this, you know, coming out here, um, isolating ourselves from the outside, just really focusing on just basketball, you know, getting eating with each other, eating lunch, breakfast, breakfast, lunch, and dinner with one another, um, talking to one another, learning each other's background. Like that's what you need to build that chemistry. Awesome stuff as always. We're so excited to be here, and we'll catch Thank up you, with bro. you throughout training camp. Thank you so much. Thank you, bro. There he is.